uppercut knockdown. They ain't finished. Let's go. No, 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 no. They not finished. Hey, in the old days, this is where Holyfield would come back. He's got to touch him with the jab. He got shot again. Another Left shot, hand. Vitor yeah. opening up. The referee looking in close. You can't stop this. Let Holyfield get his shots in. They will win. Okay, that was hard to watch. If you're a boxing fan, that's just hard to watch because the guy, I mean, he's in great shape. He uh, just, I mean, he's a tough guy. And, and he, let me just read the article from Wide World of Sports. Sadie Vander Holyfield comes come back leaving fans fearing for his, leg, his the legend's safety after a TKO loss. Boxing legend Evander Holyfield has taken a brutal first-round first TKO loss on his return to the ring against MMA icon uh, Vitor Belfort, who is much younger and faster um, in what has been labeled a sad spectacle. There were pre-fight concerned, su concerns surrounding Holyfield's health. They were proven correct. He's 58 years old. He's going to be 59. He was looking like a shadow of his former self as the referee eventually called the fight. Fight World concerned for Evander Holyfield's welfare and uncomfortable training clip. They have that there if you want to go back and look at this. Um, Holyfield dropped to the mat on multiple occasions in the short encounter, first slipping before being knocked down again following a swift left uppercut from Belfort. After, get, after getting back to his feet, the former world champion was once again subjected to a fearsome barrage from his Brazilian opponent before the referee intervened. Holyfield copped a few lusty blows from Belfort before the referee stepped in to call the fight. The bout was Holyfield's first since 2011, and despite claiming that he'd been training hard for months, and he did look in fantastic physical shape for someone his age, the fight left fans fearing for his safety. Evander Holyfield's turning 59 years old next month, tweeted an ESPN reporter, Arash Markazi. He hasn't fought in 10 years. He wasn't scheduled to fight as of two weeks ago. Whoever sanctioned this should be arrested. Yeah, two weeks ago is when they got this fight ready to go. Former UFC champion Chris Weidman also chimed in, tweeting, Happy for Vitor, I think it's Vitor, Vitor, Vitor. But man, it sucks to see Holyfield like that. He slipped and almost fell out of the ring at one stage early on in the fight. And you can see him hanging out of the ring, the ropes there. The bout attracted some no notoriety in the lead-up after former U.S. President Donald Trump was announced as a guest commentator, and even Trump was confused with what he saw. You could see right from the beginning he was not the same fighter, Trump said. He had lost a lot. That left jab was very slow. So I think it's really sad, but you know what? They, I think that he was saying, I read that he was saying, I can go on. He wanted the fight to go on, if I'm not mistaken. He was... He's a tough guy. You got to hand it for him. He's a tough guy. And look at great shape he's in. But he's just not quick enough, um, you know, f to fight a young fighter like that. But um, anyway, that's just my boxing moment for the day because I just enjoy boxing. And I hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day.